Great Puppet Baking Show. We are so excited about our final challenge. We have three contestants remaining. Oh, they've been working so hard. And here to tell us all about the final challenge is Chef Maggie. <laughs> Wonderful. Bakers, I hope you're ready. You have two hours to complete your challenge of making your signature dish. And we begin in three, two, one, go! Us. If you win the competition, what ingredient would you be getting a lifetime supply of? Oh, um, it's kind of personal. <gasps> um, is it your secret ingredient? Yes. <gasps> Ooh. Mm. Tell, tell, tell. Um, can we talk off screen? Oh, you can tell me. It's ants? Ants! Ants! All right. Time to let our viewers know what you would do with the winnings. That's a great choice. <laughs> Can't wait to see what happens. Wow. Our viewers are curious to know what you plan to do with your winnings if you win. Oh, uh, I think some nice watermelons. Yeah, something just nice and chunky, I think. Yeah, some nice watermelons. Yeah. Watermelons! Bakers, you have 20 minutes remaining. Just 20 minutes! We can't wait to see them! Oh! I see you didn't save me any! Well, let's get to the point. Have you decided on a winner? Got it. All right. Now for the moment we've all been waiting for. The winner of the first ever Great Puppet Baking Show is... Can you tell our viewers what you plan to do with your amazing winnings? Um, I'm really excited to make watermelon muffins, watermelon smoothies, watermelon pizza, watermelon tacos, watermelon bread, watermelon pie, watermelon cake, watermelon cookies, watermelon soup, watermelon cupcakes, I think I already said that. Watermelon candy, watermelon ice cream, watermelon burritos, watermelon soda, watermelon souffle, watermelon omelets, watermelon pizza, watermelon pasta, watermelon... Thank you so much to all of our judges, our fabulous contestants, and all of our viewers like you! Thanks for joining us for the first ever Great Puppet Baking Show! Toodaloo! Until next time.